Well, hello everyone, sports fans, hockey nation. This is Calvin X Bigger TV here. So, today it is time for my predictions and season preview for the St. Louis Blues 2024 25 season. As the season is about to start, the St. Louis Blues open the season on Tuesday night on the road against the Seattle Kraken. And, yeah, and start of a new season. Uh, and, well, definitely looking forward to this season. Uh, we made quite a bit of changes in the offseason, adding a bunch of players, a bunch of new, new players, got rid of a few as well. And, well, last year we... Finished 500, but we just missed out on the playoffs. We were actually, I believe, the first team out of the playoff picture. So, yeah, too bad we missed out on the playoffs for a second straight year. Uh, but it was still a solid year last year as we fired Craig Berube in December of last year. And then Drew Bannister took over, did a great job. Nearly, nearly led us to a... Uh, probably surprise playoff berth, but came up just short, but it was still a great, a pretty solid season. And now Drew Bannister in his first uh, full season as the NHL coach. Uh, the Blues brought him back to become the full-time head coach uh, as he was the interim last year uh, from December uh, until the end of the year. And yeah, so and uh, Braden Shen, second year as Blues captain, uh, and Robert Thomas, who is one of the alternate captains for the Blues, had an outstanding year last year. Was our lone All Star, led the Blues in points, was averaging about a point per game. Yeah, so he he had an outstanding year last year, uh, and. Yeah, so open up the season on the road uh, at Seattle, the newest team in the NHL. And our first three games will be on the road, all on the West Coast, playing in Seattle and then San Jose and Las Vegas. Uh, and then our home opener won't be until a week from Tuesday, the 15th. That'll be against our division rival, Minnesota Wild. So... Lot, lot to look forward to this season. We uh, traded for and also signed a number of players, including uh, from the Dallas Stars, uh, forward Radic Fox. Uh, I believe that was a trade, as well as uh, in a free agent signing to veteran defenseman Ryan Suter, who we have seen many times, longtime member of the Minnesota Wild. So now he's a I believe it's like 36 years old. And yeah, so he's now with the Blues, Ryan Suter. Uh, we also have a pair of brothers on the team. That's uh, Matthew Joseph and Pierre Joseph, uh, formerly uh, with the Ottawa Senators and Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, and Matthew Joseph was Stanley Cup champion with the Tampa Bay Lightning in uh, 2020. And, yeah, and, of course, Jordan Binton uh, is back as the Blues' top goalie. And the second-string goalie for the Blues is Joel Hofer. Uh, now in his uh, second full season in the NHL, had a solid year last year, did Hofer. Really, we only used two goalies the entire year last year. That was Bennington and Hofer. And Jordan Bennington had a, a solid season. So did Joel Hofer. So, and yeah, so a lot went right last year after the firing of Craig Berube. Uh, but we just missed out on the playoffs. Uh, and yeah, and so this team had a number of players. Uh, and, yeah, a bunch of young players. Uh, like I said, Roddick Fox and the veteran Ryan Suter, as well as from the Columbus Blue Jackets in a trade forward Alexander Texier. 
and from the Oilers. Anyway, so this offseason, we also acquired a trade from the Columbus Blue Jackets forward Alexander Texier and from the Edmonton Oilers forward Dylan Holloway. So the Oilers, of course, the Stanley Cup runners-up last season nearly pulled off a remarkable uh, coming back from a 3-0 series def deficit, but they came up just short. So, and... Yeah, so, and unfortunately, we will be without a key player for the entire season, and that's defenseman Tory Krug underwent ankle surgery, I believe, in August, and he will be out for the entire season. So that's a big loss, Tory Krug, who had a, had a pretty solid year last year, uh, joined the Blues after we won the Stanley Cup in 2019, and had spent pretty solid and so he's going to be out for the entire season so that's a big loss so and yeah and of course uh, the newly relocated Arizona Coyotes now called the Utah Hockey Club playing in Salt Lake City Utah will face them three times this season uh, the first time will be in November so and also, Craig Berube now is the head coach for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, so, um, the Maple Leafs, who have not won a Stanley Cup in like 50 years, trying to bring the Stanley Cup back to Toronto for the first time in a long time. So, but yeah, the Seattle Kraken, who had a, kind of a similar year last year, they fired their head coach. Uh, Missed out on the playoffs after making it the year before and having 100 points. Uh, and, yeah, so we're really looking forward to this season. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, and, yeah, and of course, the game I'm looking forward to the most, I'm sure most people are, is the NHL Winter Classic that the Blues are playing in. It'll be on New Year's Eve at Wrigley Field against the Chicago Blackhawks. So, that should be pretty fun. Uh, it's actually our third Winter Classic game that we'll be playing in. The other one, which we have won both, the other one was in 2022 against the Wild, and in 2016, I believe, also against the Blackhawks and the St. Louis. So, definitely looking forward to, to that game. So... And, yeah, it's just uh, hoping for a, a solid season, and hopefully we can uh, head back to the playoffs for the first time in two seasons. So, till Tuesday night uh, against the Seattle Kraken, this will actually be the very first game of the season uh, in the NHL. So, um, and, yeah, so till Tuesday... Counting for saying for the first time, go blues.